In this guitar lesson, I'm going to teach y'all how to play this song called East Tennessee Blues. Uh, you just heard a sample of it right there. This is an old traditional song. It's been around for a really long time. We're going to learn the song in the key of C today. And this is a really, really good song to use to work on right hand pick control. Let's slow it down a little bit and focus on getting those nice, clean pick strokes. Okay, here we go. And let's learn how to play this arrangement. We got the first line on the screen. Let me play through this, take a listen, and then I'll give you all some pointers. That's the first line. You can see the very first measure, we've got three pickup notes. And for those three pickup notes, they're all down strokes. And as we're working through this tablature, you can see all the uh, pick stroke direction symbols right above the tablature there. So first measure, pickup measure, got three down stroke pick symbols. And if you look at my left hand here, you can see that we're starting out the open high E string, but then we're using our left pointer finger for those other notes. And we just walk our left pointer finger up the fretboard into the second measure, which we're also gonna start out with our left pointer. So open, pointer, pointer, pointer. Get you in position there to play this part. And if you can't tell, uh, for that, in the second measure, I'm using the left pointer finger and the left ring finger. Pointer, ring, pointer, open, pointer, ring, pointer, open. And then end of this, the, uh, let's see, end of the third measure, that part, you shift your left hand down and pick up that note, second string with your left ring finger. Right there, measures four and five that you just heard. Pretty straightforward. It's pointer, ring, pointer, middle, So let me play this line one more time, nice and slow. Take a real good listen, and then you can pause if you want to and um, memorize this line. So here we go. One, two, three, four, one. Right at the end of this line, you see what we've got to pull off, starting with that note, and then let's pull up the next uh, line here on the screen, measures six through nine. Beginning of measure six, see on the screen, we're pulling off to that open string there, you see. So take a listen to measures six and seven. I'll start with that first fret uh, into this pull off. Measure six and seven. Here we go, measure six. Measure 
Measure six and seven one more time. Measure six. Measure six, pretty straightforward. Measure seven, we're shifting around the left hand a little bit. Look at my left hand, measure seven. Ring finger, ring finger there. And then just pointer. So pause if you want to work on measure six and seven. Now let's finish it off. Measures eight and nine. Not too bad there. Uh, measure eight. Right there, it's just all left pointer finger and left middle finger. Then measure nine. Measure nine. Right there, a little bit of a stretch up to the pinky right there. Kind of a stretch from the middle to the pinky. Might take a little bit of work to get that note clean. Um, I had to work on it a bit. And sometimes I still miss that pinky because it's a big stretch. So same deal, um, if you're ready, let me Play through this line one more time that you see on the screen. Take a really good listen and you can pause afterwards and, and uh, start working on it, memorize it. Start with that pull off from the previous uh, fifth measure. So here we go. So up to this point, you know, we've got the main idea of the entire A part. And by the way, uh, you'll see here in a minute, but the entire arrangement that we're working on right now, in total, it is 32 measures long, basically. But we're chopping this arrangement in half. So the first 16 measures, we're gonna call that the A part, which is what we're working on right now. And then the last 16 measures, we're gonna call that the B part. We'll get to that in a minute. But we basically got the entire A part down at this point. Um, pick up measure. So that's what we learned up to this point. Now, we're just gonna repeat the little A measure section, what, what I just played there, not including the, you know, we had that pickup measure. But what I just played, we're gonna play that one more time, basically, and that'll get us the whole A part. One slight difference at the end. So let's pull up the, uh, the next line, measures 10 through 13, and you'll hear how it's the exact same. But remember, right at the end of, uh, Measure nine, right before it, we're gonna slide into measure 10 here. So take a listen. Measure 10. So 
you should recognize that the exact same thing as the very first line we played. I'm not going to break it down since we already broken it down. Then let's pull up the next part, measures 14 through 17. You should recognize most of this too. Or that pull off into the open. Measures 14 and 15, we've already learned that earlier, so we're just repeating the, uh, the melody basically. The difference here is measures 16 and 17. We'll just... You can hear how that melody measures, measures uh, 16 and 17. Kind of wraps up the A part. Kind of wraps up the idea that we, uh, kind of the melody that we played to lead us into the B part. Here we go, measures 16 and 17. One more time. So now let's pull up the next line. This is where the B part is going to start. <laughs> 